Philadelphia's Raising Horizons Quest Charter School was embroiled in a scandal. Administrators were found guilty of corruption, leaving the school deeply in debt and the students all but forgotten. Fast forward to today. The school is flourishing and is now called Global Leadership Academy. Groundbreaking for a new building on the GLA campus took place last month. And now the Global Leadership Academy is one of Philadelphia's most flourishing, independent, community-based charter schools. How it happened is a story of perseverance. Joining us now is Dr. Naomi Johnson Booker. You and so many people had so much to do with this. Congratulations, first of all, there's no doubt about that. How did you turn a failed school into a complete success, if you will? Well, as you know, the, all the things that happened at the school was about financial accountability mm -hmm. and having some level of collaboration with people. What we did was just that. You know, we took the finances. It was an $800,000 deficit. We're now at a $2 million fund balance. Uh, the academics, the children were being eroded academically. Mm. There was no instruction, there was no certified staff. So we went on a hunt to get certified teachers and that's what we did. The state of Pennsylvania requires you to have 75%. At that time it was like 20% of the teachers were certified and today mm. we stand at 90% of our teachers Great. are certified to Great. teach. Great. Buy I instructional materials and all those things and put it together and look at accountability and performance and you get there. I love the name global leadership. What are you saying to the students? What are you saying to your administrators with that title? Well, to, today's world uh, is a global world and our children have to be prepared to be global. And mm -hmm. so if you look at a seven year old now, they're gonna be 27. And if we don't teach them today what the world is about and being a leader. So mm -hmm. our school, the, the motto is preparing future leaders of the world. Well, if they aren't prepared now, they won't be the leaders that we need them to be. So when we mm -hmm. talk about global, by the time you're in seventh grade at, at Global Leadership Academy, you have to have a passport. I know that's right. We took 35 children to Bahamas this year. And last year we took 35 to Beautiful. Canada. So imagine a child when they go across the border and they have to show their their passport and they know they're not in America and they're somewhere else and how they are learning about the world. I remember that feeling very well being with the Philadelphia Boys Choir years ago. We got that passport. It gives you a sense of pride. A sense of pride. No doubt about exactly. it. The difference between the charter school and and, norm, and regular, regular schools. Well, a charter school is a uh, public charter school. It's provided by state funds, right. but people can apply to uh, participate and say that we can do school a little better in an mm -hmm. urban environment.